What's going on, y'all? Holy shit here. Today in this video, we're going to talk about Arco. Arco D2. Looking like Hellboy on Cloud9. Looks like Hellboy just had like 30 beers. He's happy as hell. So he's part of the Cargoy family. Um, it looks like he and El Duque are on the scene together. So it looks like they're immune to poison and burn damage. So do not bring Gravemaker. Do not bring Clarissa. Because uh, these dudes will, will laugh at anything they try to throw at them. So he also casts Stone Skin for his passive. So he gets the three turns of after using special ability, uh, which chops down all that damage down to one. So that's huge, especially because he's uh, a minion uh, deity slash uh, healer. So what is his special skill? Uh, Gargoyles of Redemption replaces all fiends and all allies, which... Uh, with gargoyle minions, which is kind of niche, uh, summons a gargoyle minion for each ally. Uh, the gargoyle minion inherits 30% health points and 20% attack from the caster, which is a hefty amount. And all allies' health is boosted by 75 health points for each minion owned by the allies. So, yeah, you can end up uh, getting in some serious trouble if he uh, pops off once or twice. So first, I got to get rid of uh, uh, Tanky Tank uh, Ludwig over here. So uh, let's see. Arco's stats are right now at 897 attack, 883 uh, defense, and 1721 health points. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, so he'll bump up to probably over 900 for uh, defense. And then, what, 17... 60-ish for health points after he's fully maxed and then over 900 for attack. So uh, he's another beefy character. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I like this setup, but I don't think uh, Lug is usually good as a tank. He's usually better as a flank, but obviously he's trying to get uh, Arco to pop off um, and then just survive based off of that. All right, let's see. We got some fien uh, fiends on the scene. Let's see him convert those. And what does that look like? Um, I don't want to take him out. So I'm just kind of being cautious here because I do want to ensure I try to take out these other dudes because all I care about is seeing what Arco does, but not killing him. So we'll just end up throwing some tiles. He replaces a fiend, and then he creates a minion... And then that ends up giving those four dudes 708 health points. Now, that's boosted health points. So if anybody was at 100%, they're going to get boosted over that. So 708. So if there was all five characters on this uh, grid here, that would have been a total of 3540 um, healing. And on top of that, those minions are 516 health points plus that 516 attack. So, I mean, that is, whoa, that, that is immense. That is ridiculous. Um, you end up, uh, yeah, you don't bring uh, any, any fiends to this scene. Uh, no rhyming intended there. So even, you know, without that niche, like, fiend conversion, he's still legit. I mean, boosted healing, minion protection, that passive uh, stone skin for three turns after using his special ability. I mean, put this dude Hellboy Baggins as tank. I'd like to see that, and then put Lug Ludwig as a flank. Uh, I probably, yeah, I would probably put Arco as the tank, Lug as uh, right flank, Faline on the right wing, maybe um, uh, El Duque to the left flank because he also gets that stone skin, so he's going to survive because he's going to keep popping off. And then uh, Pirates of the Caribbean to the left wing there. So, yeah, that's uh, this is a good setup. Um, and, and I know that uh, Ludwig has a better chance of staying alive a little longer than uh, Arco would as tank, but... Um, yeah, I would have liked to seen a little little switch up there. Yeah, this dude is legit. I mean, all these gargoyles are impressive. Um, so, yeah, now that was... But, so the healing there was 3540 based off of, like, if there was five characters. But when you have um, 
an additional uh, when you max out the uh, uh, minions to three on each that's going to be 885 um, healing there so multiply that by five you got 4425 uh, between that and the amount of beef that the uh, minions ends up uh, creating that's like I think he just moved to like a top five uh, minion healer uh, type of uh, survivability character. Um, even at like an average mana speed, I mean, you just do, do not want this guy to get set off here. And then he's got that stone skin. That's why I want to see him as tank is because he's got that stone skin for uh, three, three turns after his ability. You just need him to, his ability to go off once and you're going to have a real tough time uh, recovering from that. So, yeah, I'm really liking that. Um, these gargoyles are... Yeah, these are brutal. I mean, I'm bringing a, a good setup. If you if you bring an average setup to this, you know, no bueno here. Um, so, I mean, I don't want to give, you know, all these dudes an A-plus uh, rating, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with him. Um, if his... I would say if his defense was just up a smidge more, maybe around like the, you know, when he's fully limit broken, somewhere around the 950, then at that point, I think that he would end up being um, an A+. plus. So he's he's borderline. He's definitely an A. He's on a fine line of being an A-plus hero, uh, in my opinion. Um, and especially, you know, I don't think that there's enough good green characters um that you know help you survive i know that when you're going in wars and stuff like that it's like i really don't want to put emblems on like heimdall you know radicasker is i don't know kind of squishy so i don't you know typically like to put uh emblems on that character and then you know i mean my, my arsenal is not not that thick but uh you know there's there's not a ton of because i like to pair like a three two setup so uh, I could definitely uh, use you know somebody like this to pair a couple of uh, good green characters with the with the survivability characters, so that would help out wars a lot. So yeah, I would say defensively, you know what I'm gonna give this dude uh, a plus on on defense, um, and then uh, for offense, you know I give him a solid A, uh, well rounded character. Seems like a lot of fun to use, you know, with that stone skin. I mean, if you're controlling him you're going to have a hard time you know, losing, in my opinion. So, I mean, look at this. I'm scrambling right now, and, you know, trying to control the uh, um, their setup. But it's I'm at the point right now I'm starting to run out of time, and I just got to just really take these uh, fools out because, um, you know, I still got to win the match and uh, get my uh, few wins for the, the raid chest. So... What y'all think about these gargoyles? You think they're uh, overpowered? Because, you know, although uh, a lot of a lot of people will say, oh, you know, they're overpowered, this and that, I actually like to see, um, you know, the, the higher powered uh, characters and then, you know, seeing these synergies like this. Just continue to make the game tougher and tougher. Uh, you know, expect to lose here and there. You know, go into it having fun. I mean, that's kind of what the game's all about. You don't want it too easy. I like the character bees, the characters to be tough enough so that you know you, it's just not all about tiles. You know, I want there to be a mixture of having to use tiles, but the special ability is what you know really is icing on the cake. You know, that's what you know completes that win. So, yeah, tell me what y'all think about uh, uh, Arco. Um, have, have you faced him yet? Um, do you think he's a you know a hero? Um, I'd like to know. So. Yeah, um, I still got to take out Falling. See, this is the problem with the, that boosted health. Like, look at that. Like, she's been boosted to almost, like, twice her uh, health points, and it's just real tough to get rid of her. Um, look at that. It took a lot of hits to, get to make her go away. So, hope you like today's content, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later, y'all.